everyone. Uh, tonight we're going to do a quick little video about using the replace chop to prevent errors from happening when you design a component that's meant to take in a certain amount of channels and then someone else decreases the amount of channels and then you get an error as seen here. So this is an example from my connect chop tutorial where as you can see here I'm moving my hands and hand velocity gets encoded as a displacement map for instant spheres. Uh, I designed it to be a six player thus 12 hand um, experience but as you can see I, I had switched my connect just now into one player mode and players two through six uh, the hand cursors for them um, which are circle tops are throwing errors because those channels don't exist. So how do we design our system so we can catch that exception in advance? So I'll go back to six player mode as it was intended to be used. Um, a quick note, um, the expected data when, when there's no player in scene would be just all zeros on all those channels. So basically, you would create that generic case by just multiplying all the channels by zero to get rid of me being player one in, in screen. I guess I could also just point the connect away from myself. But nonetheless, just add a null and lock the null. Okay. So there we have um, kind of our template channels. So then we would just plug those into a replace and plug our actual channels into the second input of the replace and drag the math backwards so we don't have two things going into the math and there there we have the basic catch for the exception now if I jump back down we shouldn't see an error moment of truth let's see <laughs> what I do interesting course well this is why you should always use a null before exporting as you can see, these operators are still selecting directly off my in. If I'd put a null there and then inserted all this before the null, we wouldn't have to do what I'm about to do. Um, well, let's call this connect chans null or something like that. Some people say you should never rename your operators. I don't know. I guess that's kind of a uh, contentious topic. Anyways, and boom. Now we have fixed the problem. <laughs> okay. So now regardless of the incoming channel count, we don't get the errors. Even if there's zero, which is interesting. Boom. Still works with one person. Great. All right. That's it for now. And let me know if there's any more questions. I will update the example that I have on my Patreon. Supporters will be able to download that shortly. Thank you very much.